Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting last week that the beta channel insiders saw a whole lot of fixes that were rolling out to help improve the File Explorer's launch performance and prevent crashing uh, in last week's beta channel builds, and it seems now with um, the recent dev channel build that rolled out yesterday in my region on the 13th, build 23545, that Microsoft now has once again and focused on improving the stability and the performance and fixing a whole lot of bugs and crash issues in the File Explorer, which I personally am happy to see because as many of you would know, uh, the File Explorer in the stable version has a lot of its um, own issues um, that still have not been patched where um, there are performance crash and stability issues in the File Explorer. So as I mentioned in last week's video, the File Explorer in 23H2 should see better stability and performance. And this now has been carried over as mentioned. Now Microsoft has rolled out 11 fixes for the File Explorer. Now that's a significant amount of fixes, which I am personally happy to see because a lot of these fixes now have been addressed in last week's beta channel and this week's dev channel are issues that currently affect the stable channel when it comes to stability performance and so on, as mentioned. So there's a good chance in the near future that these issues should finally once and for all be addressed. Now, just to focus on these bug fixes, because I think it's important, because I have seen a lot of you in the comments talking about uh, the performance and the stability of the File Explorer. So just to go through these fixes, if, if you would be interested, that are now available in the dev channel. Um, they fixed an issue which could see um, the explorer.exe to crash which explorer.exe is your start menu, your taskbar, your notifications, the shell of your computer, your file explorer, and so on. So that could crash when closing file explorer. So that's a very important fix that's rolled out. So that's the first of a lot of crash fixes. Then I'm just going to mention the next. They fixed an issue when switching between dark and light mode or a contrast theme. What would happen, um, file explorer's address bar, um, the command bar and the context menu could get stuck in the wrong colors, making it difficult to see. So that's another little niggly fix that's been addressed. Now this next one, I'm very personally happy to see because I've actually been um, experiencing this issue for quite some time now in the File Explorer. Now you may have heard me say that um, when I open my File Explorer, you'll see a white flashbang. So if you see if I open it, there's a quick white flashbang. So this next fix uh, fixes an issue where if you launched File Explorer, in dark theme, which I currently have applied, you could see a bright white flash as content loaded. So that's that flashbang I'm talking about. So that will finally be addressed, hopefully, in the near future, possibly with version 23H2, which I am very personally happy to see roll out. Um, they also fixed an issue where rapidly opening two File Explorer windows might uh, make explorer.exe, the shell of your uh, OS, once again crash. So that's another crash fix. Then just to mention um, a couple of other fixes that have rolled out, and they have rolled out fixes to help improve File Explorer's launch performance. So that's a performance fix. They fixed an issue which could make Explorer.exe crash when navigating away from home. So if you were in home and navigated away from uh, your home page in the File Explorer, that could um, result in a crash. So that's a niggly bug that's been fixed. They also fixed an issue when trying to open Gallery, which is a feature that Microsoft is testing in the Insider program. After new images had been added, might result in a crash. And then they fixed an issue where the progress wheel in the tab would get stuck, showing the File Explorer was loading a folder. So that's another um, little niggly bug that's been fixed. And then um, they fixed an issue where navigating away and back in different folders has also been addressed. And then um, if you are using different tabs in, in the File Explorer, opening up different tabs, they fixed an issue which could cause the icons in the File Explorer tabs to be incorrect not displaying the right tab that's been opened. And then the last one, they fixed an issue. If we just head over to the desktop for this, they fixed an issue which was causing icons on the desktop to turn into white generic icons um, until you refreshed the desktop. Now, I don't have icons on my desktop, but you get the general idea. So that's 11 fixes that Microsoft is now rolling out to the dev channel and a whole lot of fixes rolled out to the beta channel last week. So this is a good indication that those little niggly bugs that some of us are experiencing uh, in the stable version are going to be addressed eventually, hopefully with version 23H2. Now, over and above that, um, we get fixes for other components in the dev channel, which are normal. They roll out. It's, it's early days. Uh, there are a couple of known issues because obviously there are still bugs uh, in the dev channel. 
And um, over and above that, there's changes and improvements uh, to the search on the taskbar where Microsoft is trying out different concepts with the search box Gleam and so on. And then also Windows Share. So your nearby sharing has also received a couple of improvements. But nonetheless, I just wanted to focus on those File Explorer fixes because I'm quite excited and personally happy to see that some of these niggly issues which have been plaguing a lot of us could finally be addressed soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.